he's already succeeded. He's a fresh start. Here's, if you're a Laker fan, here's your life the last four years. Oh, we're really bad. Okay, we got a bunch of young guys. All right, let's keep Kobe for two, which will hurt the development of the young guys, but let's watch Kobe's last year. This year, it's like, all right, we got our Pied Piper. We got our guy. I haven't seen Lonzo play, but we're all kind of like, this is fun. I can't wait to watch the summer league game. You're tonight. rushing home for that game tonight, aren't you? There's not a question in my mind. <laughs> I am too. So, so my my takeaway is, he succeeded. He is bringing in the belief for all of us, like, okay, this is going to be fun. This is the first of 12 years. We don't think he's LeBron. He didn't lead UCLA in scoring. We're not asking him to be MJ. What we want him to be is fun and the Pied Piper for a decade. So I think he's already succeeded. And let's remember, you mentioned LeBron. He, L Lonzo's got the most hype coming into the league since LeBron in 2003. Right. LeBron was on the cover of Sports Illustrated right. as a 16-year-old, okay? First two years, he didn't even get to the playoffs in Cleveland. So I, I think fans will understand, hey, this is a young Lakers squad. Only Brooke Lopez in the starting lineup has playoff experience. Nobody's expecting playoffs. I wish kind of LeVar would shut up with that stuff, you know, dial it down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, under with the expectations and over deliver. That's what I like to do. Eddie, I don't, I don't know if you're on the same I don't boat. mind the father setting the bar high for your kid. You know, you want to set the bar high for your kid and make him push for the sky. But this is the thing. He's going to have expectations, but I think he's going to live up to all of those. Like the summer league game tonight, right? This is not going to tell us. What I look at in summer league games, I look at are they making the right plays, not numbers, because the numbers, those things lie. Guys can kill in summer league and don't even make a team in the NBA. <laughs> no, but I, I want to look at is this guy making the right plays? And I've seen Lonzo play in high school. I've seen him play in college. He's like a quarterback on the court. He sees the game is so slow to him. He sees guys open, and he's going to have guys wanting to come flock and play with him like how Magic did. It was a, a, a straight-up sprint. Uh, whoever gets out first is going to get the ball, and he will get you the ball, and he'll throw you open sometimes. When you think you're not open, he'll put the ball somewhere and make you go get it, and it's always on the money. I can't wait to see this must-see TV, even though it's summer league. That's crazy to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is must-see TV. I, I feel the same way. Now, am I excited about it? Yes. Well, I'll be sitting there watching him play. Yes. All of these things that you're talking about, true, the way he plays the game and open things up for everyone, all of that is going to be exciting for the next 12 years, hopefully, at least. Uh, but can he live up to the expectations that are placed on him? No. No way he can. It doesn't matter what he does. If LeBron James had been drafted by the Chicago Bulls, we wouldn't even be here. You still have comparisons because he came into the league and who was he was supposed to be the next Jordan. There's no way you would even compare him remotely and say he did what Jordan did for the Bulls because of those championships in that uniform. Lonzo Ball has come into the league, and he is a Laker. Magic Johnson is like, leave me some of my records. He has to go in and he has to play against not only just win and have fun, but he's got to play against the ghost of Kobe, the ghost of Magic. It's like Gordon Hayward can go to, to the Boston Celtics right now. It doesn't matter what he does. He won't eclipse Bird. The love that the city has for him, what he does and how, they, how he's viewed, it's not going to happen. So the pressure that's on him and the expectations are for him to be better than those guys. And he's not going to be better than Kobe or, or Magic. But let, remember this. When Magic came into the league, they had Kareem. I mean, he entered a good team. Yeah. Shaq came over. You know, they had some players. I think Laker fans, I think we're fairly realistic here. The West is loaded. You're not touching the Warriors. So I do believe there's a transparency that we all understand. Okay, let's give it time. You know, I don't think he's nearly as transcendent as Magic, nor is he physically as gifted as Kobe or as enormous as Shaq. But again, the expectations are 32 wins. The, the ceiling now is so low. They won, what, 26? Yeah. That I do believe he may not live up to the hype, but I think he's going to be given a fair, reasonable yeah, of course. path. But, I but, think he's going to be fine because I, the way his dad raised him, his dad didn't raise him to go be Magic or be Kobe. He raised him to be the best Lonzo Ball that he can oh, be. Well, but, and but I Eddie, think he, he has a chance because he's going to play a lot longer than Magic though. did to break, the, to break those records. But, Eddie, but that's different. You're saying can he handle the pressure and can he live up to the hype. I completely agree with that. But you're, when you're, you start saying expectations, because the expectations are not, okay, 32 games right now, but you said 12 years. How long? 
how long before you have to I start winning championships? Next year, I think next year, once they get that free agent next year, I think it's going to be a little bit more attractive for other free agents to come in and play Remember, with Remember, Rondo's have a great been compared to Jason Kidd. He didn't win a title. That's a good point. Jason years Kidd old. has Jason been the comparison. Jason Kidd didn't play for the Lakers and have Magic sitting okay. next to him. You know it's what different say, yeah. in that purple and gold, it's man. It's, they totally different. He's 6'7", J. Kidd was 6'4". The comparison is that they pass just alike almost. You know, that's the comparison that they have the same. And they kind of look like each other a little bit. Like, he looked like a young yeah. J. Kidd a little bit. You <laughs> little know what I mean? Bit. A little wiry, though. So I think that's the comparison. But it's not that he's going to be Jason Kidd. He's going to be, to me, he's going to be a real be uh, real great passer, but I think a better athlete. Even though J. Kidd was a sneaky athlete, I think he's a better athlete.